The animal kingdom has always been a source of intrigue for scientists, and there's still a whole ton of species out there just waiting to be discovered. Yes, no one really knows for sure what strange new creatures might be hiding away from humans' prying eyes. From the mysterious white moose to the deep sea zombies, these are the 20 mysterious animals that have rarely been seen. White Moose Talk about a once-in-a-lifetime sight. Imagine stumbling upon not one, but two albino moose in the woods near Timmins, Ontario. It's like hitting the jackpot in the wildlife lottery. Grant Best, our lucky witness, couldn't believe his eyes. Thankfully, he had his camera out, capturing these majestic creatures in all their white-coated glory. They were a bit cautious, giving him the side-eye, before gracefully retreating into the forest. These white moose are more than just rare, they're sacred. The local First Nations communities hold them in high regard, considering them cultural treasures. No harm must come to these creatures. It's not just a suggestion, it's the rule. Back in 2013, when a pair was hunted for sport, it sparked a wildfire of outrage. Now, these moose might not be true albinos, they could be leucistic. That means they've got a sneaky gene causing a lack of pigment, but let's not get bogged down in genetics. What matters is they're a sight to behold, and if you're lucky enough to spot them, appreciate the rarity and remember, shoot with cameras, not guns. Spanish Dancer Nudie Branch Down under in East Antarctica, a bunch of Aussie scientists stumbled upon quite the underwater spectacle, a headless chicken-esque sea cucumber they've lovingly dubbed the Spanish Dancer for its elegant aquatic ballet. Now you might wonder, how in the world can a cucumber do the backstroke? Not only does it pull off a pretty slick swim, but it's also a bit of a rarity in its cucumber clan. This oddball was first spotted in the 1880s near Peru. Sea cucumbers, cousins to starfish and sea urchins, have a diet that reads like a light salad. They munch on tiny particles like algae. Some of them are even harvested for fancy feasts or used in ancient remedies. Yep, Spanish dancers are in high demand. Honduran White Bat Talk about a bat with serious style. The Honduran White Bat, also known as the Caribbean White Tent-Making Bat, is a true standout in the bat world, found in Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and parts of Panama. This little guy rocks a completely unique all-white fur coat. Now, that's a fashion statement you don't see every day among the thousands of bat species out there. Plus, it's got a yellow leaf-shaped nose and ears, and edgy black wing membranes. But the real showstopper? When sunlight filters through the leaves of their roost, their white fur goes incognito, blending in seamlessly. It's like their superpower, disappearing act, bat style. Now, let's talk about their architectural skills. These bats are like the ultimate DIYers, crafting their own leafy tents for daytime lounging. They're carefully cut plant leaves with their teeth, creating cozy roosts. And get this, they're not just stylish, they're frugivores too. They're all about that fruit life, especially a specific type of fig. Now, here's the fascinating part. Their home turf is less than a quarter square mile. Scientists are scratching their heads, wondering how they make it work on such a limited menu. These fig-eating bats are one tiny mystery. Ardwolf Indigenous to South Africa, this nocturnal beast is rarely seen, emerging from their underground burrows only at night. The mysterious Ardwolf might appear to be a strange cross between a wolf and an aardvark, but it's basically a member of the hyena family. They can be recognized by the dark vertical stripes on their torso, as well as long mane of hair across their hair that they can make stand on end in an effort to make themselves appear larger than they actually are. The word aardwolf actually means earth wolf in the Afrikaans language. Just like aardvarks, this rare creature only eats termites, licking them up with a long sticky tongue. They've even been known to eat as many as 300,000 termites in a single night and over 100 million insects in a year. Now that's what we call binge eating. Sunda kolugo. These old critters live alone in the tropical rainforests of Southeast Asia and the Philippine Islands. Unlike any other creature on the planet, these strange little animals have webbed feet with claws, large round eyes with binocular vision, and can glide through the treetops as far as 230 feet without losing altitude. 
Yep, the Kalugo, also known as the Flying Lemur, launches itself from great heights, swooping through the jungle canopy with ease. Despite their name, they are not related to lemurs at all, and research has shown that their closet-living relatives are primates. And even though they look graceful flying through the rainforest, the Kalugo is completely helpless on the ground. These clumsy critters have no opposable thumbs and lack strength, and the only way they climb up trees is to dig their sharp claws in and cling on for dear life, awkwardly shuffling up the trunk on their way to the top. What a strange creature. Hercules Beetle We're diving into the wild world of the Hercules Beetle. These guys aren't just big, they're colossal. The males have long horns sprouting from their heads and midsections, giving them a fierce pincer-like appearance. It's like they're nature's version of a legendary gladiator. Now, when it comes to flying, they're not exactly graceful, but they manage to take to the skies. They're among the heavyweight champions of the flying insect world. But wait, there's more. The larvae of these behemoths can put even the adults to shame in terms of size. They start off curved, white or yellow with a bold black head, and can even outweigh their grown-up counterparts. A larva can take up to two years to go from squiggly baby to full-grown adult. These larvae are like the bodybuilders of the insect world, growing up to a whopping 4.5 inches and tipping the scales at over 3.5 ounces. They're even on the menu, seasoned up, wrapped in banana leaves and roasted over a fire. And once they reach adulthood, they have a lifespan of only 3 to 6 months. Some lucky ones under proper care might push it to a year. And let's not forget the showdowns. It's a guy thing. These signature horns? Males use them to duke it out during breeding season, showing who's boss. Don't mess with Hercules. Atelopus Varius Talk about a race against time. The Atelopus Varius, also known as the Harlequin Toad, is living on the edge of extinction thanks to a ruthless fungal invader wreaking havoc on frog populations across Central and South America. This disease is like a grim reaper for these amphibians spreading its deadly grip before the poor creatures even know what hit them. And just when you think it can't get any worse, it's a serial frog killer. Now, there's a glimmer of hope in Costa Rica, where a population of these harlequin toads was rediscovered. It's a call to action, a last-ditch effort to save these vibrant species. Here's hoping we can turn the tide and give them a fighting chance. White Orca at first glance, you might think that this pure white killer whale is a super rare animal. However, scientists have claimed to have seen as many as eight of these albino orcas in the western North Pacific Ocean. These incredible white whales are solemnly seen in any other ocean on Earth. But they seem to be abundant in this part of the world. In fact, researchers have estimated that roughly 1 in 1,000 killer whales in the waters off the coast of Russia might actually be completely white. One of these awesome orcas is a male named Iceberg, whose white dorsal fin could easily be confused for a small slither of ice. One of his latest sightings indicated he was around 22 years old, which seems to be a lot older than other albino killer whales, who usually don't survive into adulthood. Who knows, maybe one day albino orcas like him will become a pretty common sight. White whales aren't a myth after all. Reticulate Collared Lizards we're about to let you in on the little Texas secret. Meet the reticulate collared lizard, a true marvel of nature. With its distinctive net-like scales, this lizard calls South Texas thorn scrub vegetation home, and you'll often find it strutting its stuff on shallow gravel, caliche or sandy soils. Now, these lizards don't do anything halfway. Adults can stretch out to an impressive 14 to 17 inches. They're sun worshippers through and through. They're not ones to spring into action until the temperature hits a toasty 86 degrees. And they've got eyes like a hawk. They'll spot us before we even realize they're around. But here's where things get really wild. When they sense danger, they hit the gas pedal. These lizards are speed demons. And they don't just run, they practically levitate off the ground. Sprinting on their hind leg tails working overtime for balance. And when push comes to shove, they've got a neat trick up their sleeves. They freeze in place, counting on the color pattern to blend them right into the scenery. So if you ever find yourself in South Texas, keep your eyes peeled for these incredible creatures. You'd be lucky to catch a glimpse of one. Blue-Eyed Cicada Ah, the Brood X Cicada 
quite the fascinating insects. Typically, these bugs are red-eyed, but there's a rare few with white or even blue eyes. Now, experts say spotting a blue-eyed cicada is like finding a needle in a haystack. It's a one in a million deal. University of Connecticut researchers suggest that these eye color variations come down to good old fashioned genetics. Think mutations or super rare genes. With every brood X emergence, a wild rumor makes the rounds. They say if you're lucky enough to snag a blue eyed cicada, you're in for some serious cash. It's an urban legend that's been making the rounds at universities for years. However, back in 2011, Vanderbilt University had to set the record straight when folks started claiming they were shelling out $3,000 for these bugs. So while these cicadas with their blue peepers are undeniably cool, it's safe to say the whole cash bonanza is just a tall tale. But hey, who knows what the future holds? Maybe one day blue-eyed cicadas will be the currency of entomologists. Cash for bugs? Whatever next. And now it's time for our open discussion. This photo will haunt your dreams. We're talking about an animal so strange, so elusive, that nobody even knows what species it belongs to. We don't know about you, but this critter looks like some kind of evil half mole, half alien. But what do you guys think? Use the hashtag open discussion in the comment section below to share your thoughts. The Iberian Lynx in the not-so-distant past, the Iberian lynx was roaming Spain, Portugal, and even strutting its stuff in southern France back in the early 19th century. But then, things took a wild turn. As of the 20th century rolled on, this feline population began to plummet. By the early 2000s, it was hanging on for dear life, with just two tiny breeding populations in southern Spain. We're talking about a mere 100 adult lynxes and a measly 25 females in the baby-making business. But here's the good news. We've seen the Iberian lynx claw its way back from the brink of extinction. Today, there is a reason to purr with joy because there are a whopping 404 of these furry felines strutting their stuff in the Mediterranean forests of the Iberian Peninsula. But why did this lynx become so endangered in the first place? Well, blame it on their picky palates. These cats are die-hard rabbit fans, with bunnies making up a massive 80% of their menu. Trouble is, the rabbit population took some hits, thanks to diseases. And even a case of purposeful population control in France. Yikes. Not only that, but while these lynxes got legal protection in the 70s, some hunters couldn't resist the illegal poaching game. They were hunted for their fancy fur, or even blamed for causing mayhem on farms. Even today, there's poaching, and these majestic creatures sometimes get caught in traps meant for other critters. It's definitely not easy being an Iberian lynx. The Black Sea Slug Meet the California Black Sea Hare, the heavyweight champion of the sea slug world. These guys don't mess around when it comes to size. We're talking over 15 kilograms of sheer sea slug swagger. They're like the Arnold Schwarzenegger of the underwater world. Now, where do these colossal critters hang out? You'll find them along the US Pacific coast and down in Baja, California, Mexico. They've got quite the diet too, munching down on seaweed and kelp like they're at an all-you-can-eat buffet. Sea hares are like the Swiss Army knives of the ocean. Why? Because they're hermaphrodites, which means they've got both male and female sex organs packed into one slimy package. Talk about versatility. When trouble swims their way, sea hares aren't about to roll over and become a seafood snack. Nope, they've got a nifty defense move. A dramatic release of dark purple fluid, kind of like an underwater smoke bomb. And guess what gives that ink its fancy hue? It's all thanks to a pigment from the red algae they chow down on. Now, let's talk about their family planning skills. Sea hare eggs are like something out of a sci-fi movie. They're encased in a sticky jelly and look like a tangle of spaghetti noodles. And get this, a single sea hare can drop up to 80 million of these little surprises. That's some serious baby-making mojo. These tiny larvae hatch in just 10 to 12 days, ready to conquer the ocean in their own slimy way. A weird creature indeed. White Serval Say hello to the rarest of the rare, the white servals. Now, we've heard about white tigers and snakes, but when it comes to servals, there are only two known in the entire world. Both of these magnificent creatures called Big Cat Rescue in sunny Tampa, Florida, their home sweet home. 
Now, why are these guys such unique snowflakes? Well, they couldn't pull off the camouflage act in the wild. They're like that one friend who sticks out in a crowd, not great when you're playing hide and seek with predators or trying to sneak up on a lunch. Plus, they're not exactly snow bunnies. These servals don't live in snow locations, basically they stand out like a sore thumb. And here's the craziest of all. These white-footed servals are born and grow about 20% larger than their normally colored pals. Sadly, experts have never seen a white serval female make it past two weeks. Yep, these creatures are super rare, and now you know why. The Bone-Eating Worms We're diving deep into the eerie world of Osadax worms. The bone-crunching zombies of the sea lurking a jaw-dropping 10,000 feet below the surface. These creepers aren't after brains, oh no, they've got a taste for bones, imagine that. These little 1-3 to three inch terrors made their grand entrance by setting up camp in the skeleton of a decaying grey whale leaving marine biologists scratching their heads worldwide. There's a whole horde of 26 species of these bone-chomping Osidax worms, and they're all straight out of a nightmare. They've got no mouths, no guts. Instead, they've got a bizarre root system that's like a drill for bones, siphoning off fats and protein. Weirdly, only the ladies are in on this drilling action. Well, the tiny males set up shop inside them. In fact, researchers stumbled upon a whopping 111 males, making a cozy home in one female zombie worm. Talk about close quarters. But wait, it gets even creepier. These sinister zombies secrete an acid from their skin that acts like a bone-melting potion, letting them get to the lip-smacking collagen locked away inside. Now that's a dinner party you won't be forgetting anytime soon. Pink See-Through Fantasia Let us introduce you to the world of the utterly strange sea cucumber, a true enigma lurking in the watery depths. These critters prefer to hang out on the ocean floor, dining on sediment like it's a five-star meal. But this isn't your garden variety sea cucumber, oh no, it's so baffling that even the experts are left scratching their heads. Some folks have even dubbed it the headless chicken fish, and when you take a look you'll see why. These quirky creatures reside around 9,800 feet below the surface, and they've got a bizarre body that's like the necklace torso of a chicken. Four to nine inches long and a vibrant shade of pink. We've never seen a creature quite like this. Not only that, but they're virtually see-through. You can peek right through their translucent bodies, catching a glimpse of their inner workings, especially after they've had a good meal. It's like having a front row seat to a science show right there in the ocean. Gross. The Sea Pig Turns out sea pigs are nothing like the pigs you see on land. The sea pig may get its name from its pink-colored body and love of muddy sea floors, but it's actually a type of sea cucumber. This bizarre but cute animal has enlarged tube feet that have taken on a leg-like appearance, using water cavities within the skin to inflate and deflate, thereby causing the appendages to move. It shuffles through the muddy sediments on the seafloor, eating bits of dead algae and animals that have fallen from the surface. Huge herds of sea pigs can often be seen gathering at carcasses of fallen whales to feast. As well as adorable scavengers, scientists also reckon that they might be babysitters for other species. Researchers at the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute have seen baby lithodid crabs climbing on or hiding under sea pigs possibly as a way for the young crabs to protect themselves from predators. They even have their own defense mechanism. Their skin contains a toxic chemical called holothurin, which is poisonous to other creatures. But if you wanted to catch a glimpse of these quirky creatures, you might have to get yourself a submarine. They live on deep ocean bottoms, specifically on the abysmal plain in the Atlantic, Pacific and Indian Oceans, typically at depths of over 3,900 to 16,400 feet. We'll stick to seeing pigs at the farmyard then. The hagfish. Let's talk about the stuff of marine nightmares, the infamous hagfish. This slippery, gooey creature is like something straight out of a sci-fi flick. No teeth, no bones, just a squishy, jelly-like blob cruising through the deep. They're the only creatures on Earth with a skull but no spines. It's like Mother Nature had a field day with this one. Now, these repulsive fish might be blind, but don't let that fool you. They've got a sixth sense that's nothing short of formidable. It's all about powerful senses in their dark domain. 
With a keen nose and a touch, that's second to none. They sniff out food down on the ocean floor, and once they've got their prey cornered, that's when things get truly bizarre. They use their bodies like living tunnels, chowing down from the inside out. Yep, the hagfish is going to haunt your dreams. Thankfully, you'll probably never come face to face with one. Telescope Octopus Dive with us into the mysterious depths of the ocean where we encounter the enigmatic telescope octopus, a true master of disguise. This deep sea dweller isn't your average octopus, it's a cryptic expert. Lurking between 500 and a mind-boggling 6,500 feet below the ocean's surface. Now what sets this cephalopod apart from the rest of the underwater gang? It's all about its unique lifestyle. You won't find the telescope octopus strolling on the sandy seafloor. It prefers to hang out in the water column, suspended in a vertical pose. It's like a stealthy ninja of the deep, avoiding the prying eyes of hungry predators by keeping a low profile. But here's the real showstopper, those eyes. The telescope octopus boasts a pair of peepers that wouldn't be out of place in a sci-fi movie. Its elongated tubular eyes protrude from its head, almost like an alien telescope. These peepers are perched on movable stalks, and here's the kicker, they can rotate. Yep, it's the only octopus species that can give its eyes a 360 degree view of the abyss. It's like having built-in binoculars. Not bad, eh? Barrel Eye Fish Meet the Barrel Eye Fish, lurking in the depths between 2,000 and 2,600 feet beneath the surface. This little marvel of the deep sea is a true head turner. And not just because it's got a transparent dome over its noggin. That's right, you can actually see right through this fish. They call it the barrel eye because of its eyes that are shaped like barrels, perfectly designed to guzzle up every bit of light in those pitch black waters. It can gaze upwards or straight ahead through its clear head, keeping a sharp lookout for potential predators or a tasty meal. Talk about having eyes in the back of your head, or in this case, all around your head. And that see-through shield isn't just for show, it's also a nifty defense against things of those deadly siphonophores that lurk in the shadows. Yep, they don't come much stronger than the barrel eye. Black Sea Devil You might have seen this menacing fish before in the movies. Yes, even Hollywood is scared of this creepy fish. The Black Sea Devil lives deep below the ocean, some reaching depths of 3,000 feet. Living in a state of permanent darkness, this crafty fish has a unique way of luring in its unsuspecting prey. Females of the species have a protruding dorsal spine, and it happens to look just like a fishing pole, with a great big illuminated bait attached to the end. This bright light lures in its prey, which is then gobbled up by these sharp, translucent teeth. This monster fish has such a large mouth that it can swallow prey up to twice its size. This big-headed species of anglerfish truly is a terrifying sight, and we definitely wouldn't want to get too close. Some fish can even reach up to three feet in length. Not only that, but if you think that the anglerfish was weird enough already, the male of the species will cling onto the female it wants to mate with, slowly fusing into her over time with a skin growth. Stuck to her, the male will never leave her side. Yep, they literally become attached at the hip. Sounds pretty crazy, right? Well, what can we say? This is one crazy fish. Sometimes we're really glad we don't live in the ocean.